This video was brought to you by Halo Collector. For all the latest Halo toy news, head over to Halo Collector's Facebook page now. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Now, this is not a drill. There are brand new Halo toy leaks, and I, I don't even know if they're leaks, because these Halo Infinite Mega Constructs toys are on sale in Target right now. And we got some beautiful pictures of them. We're gonna break them down one by one, adding in loads of toy reels of all the old Mega Constructs toys, comparing them, having a good time. Yeah, let's let's check it out. I'm really excited about these toys. They're... I got a lot to say about them, actually. I mean, they look amazing. Some of them get me really excited for Halo Infinite. But first of all, we'll talk about the elephant in the room. We're getting Halo Infinite toys on shelves, and we don't even have any gameplay. I don't know what's going on. Every video I go to on the internet, Halo creators are freaking out because this is basically their livelihood. A lot rests on this game. We at least had all the other Halo games, like, gameplay a year before release. This is just freaking everyone out, but hopefully we're gonna get some news in July. And these toys give us a pretty good idea of what's going down in Halo Infinite. We're gonna start with the Covenant first, and start with my hot pink boy here, Elite Ultra. Now, this is the one that kind of stood out to me as the weirdest, but also the one that Jonathan at the SS Motion really liked. But I don't know. It looks extremely similar to old Halo Mega Bloks Elite Ultras we used to get, and I even thought the proportions of them were a little bit weird. The head, more than anything, like what's going on? It looks like the head is so separate from the rest of the body, and is so large. I don't know, and it's just a silver design. First of all, these are all Halo Heroes Series 12, and Halo Heroes has a certain benchmark to meet. I'm sure some of these do, but I'm not sure others do as well. This is not, in my opinion, a Halo Heroes toy. They could have easily repurposed this as like just single figure packets with a different display stand, but they've got the number 12. This is clearly Series 12 of Halo Heroes, and I don't know if it scratches up to just the standard from like Series 10 was amazing. Series 11 had some awesome figures too. Obviously, there's no named figures because they don't want to reveal things early, but they could have at least gone with a Master Chief or the Pelican pilot. So I guess once Halo Infinite comes out, maybe Series 13 of Halo Heroes will meet up to expectations of all the named figures. I mean, it does look like a good figure. There's some nice paint applications you can see in these yellow areas, and the plasma repeater looks amazing, so I'll definitely want a few of those. Elite Ultra, I, I give it like for an army building. I know like Jonathan will give this 5 out of 5. I give it like a 3.5. Okay, next one. We've got a Brute Warrior. Very nice. So this one does look really cool, and one thing that stands out for me is there are quite a lot of paint applications. I never need to remember this guy again. Just a whitewash, just, oh no, he looks so bad. Most of this is based around Halo Reach, if anybody's noticed. Like, an alarming amount of this is based around Halo Reach. Even the new book has the Master Chief going back to Halo Reach, or to Reach. So it's cool to see a Brute. I don't know what this is. This looks kind of like a Brute Shot. I imagine it's probably just a repurposed Brute Shot, or it might be a new Brute Weapon. Honestly, especially when I'm customizing and like making dioramas, I realize that the Brutes have a very small amount of weaponry. So it'd be cool to see like a new kind of shotgun. Other than that, this is a fantastic army builder, just a standard warrior. I'll be buying a lot of this one. We've had an insane amount of different Brutes over the time, and I've really seen them evolve from the early days of Mega Blocks. So I'm really excited to see what they do with this one. It's got some gorgeous paint applications. It looks like a really well-polished figure. I'll be buying a lot of this for displaying in dioramas. It's a 5 out of 5 for me. Maybe like a 4.5. We got three Spartans, but first we're going to go for a Marine Sniper. Ooh. First of all, the Sniper looks absolutely gorgeous. This one looks like a very similar design to others, like Spartan Madsons. I think it's the same. And the sniper itself, it's heavily Call of Duty inspired. It's got these ammo belts on the legs. Paint applications look great. It looks like almost the exact same as Spartan Palmer's head, but people are really excited about a female head. Good for customizations. The Marine is really cool. We've had so many badass Marines all the way through Mega Bloks design phases, and I can't wait to get this one. Add it to the collection. The head kind of looks a bit jaunty and if it's Halo Heroes and you're really trying to impress for Halo Infinite, 
I would include an extra helmet as well, so you can have it helmeted and helmetless. A quality figure, I'll give this a 4 or a 4.5. I'm gonna be buying so many of that Halo Infinite mongoose for the Marines. And now we got these three Spartans. One of them, everybody's kind of losing their minds about. It doesn't really make any sense, and we don't know what to make of it so far. It's this Spartan Mark Seven. I'm big on Halo, but I don't know the in and outs of all the different Spartan Marks and Spartan Mjolnir armors. But apparently Spartan Mark Seven was a type of Mjolnir that was only tested with Spartan Naomi. It just seems so strange that they're including specifically this Mark. Jonathan at the SS Motion, the domain has a big theory that the new Halo book about the Master Chief and Blue Team going back to Halo Reach is gonna be all about repurposing old Reach armor. Most of the armor is Noble Six's armor, but then there's just some red pieces here. Very strange. And this one does get me more excited for Halo Infinite than any others. And this weapon, what is this? It's like, uh, it's got like a large drum, like it could be a shotgun, but it, it looks very strange. It's kind of deep like a Hydra launcher. I have no idea what this weapon could be. Gets me excited for all the new weapons that I'm sure are gonna be making their way into Halo Infinite. And this armor looks gorgeous. I think it's very similar to Noble Six's armor. If not identical, minus the knife that he has on his chest. I'm very excited to get hold of this one. This is really cool. We got two more Spartans. I'll go for the fan favorite, what everybody's excited about, Spartan Recon. Recon, can has Recon, most popular armor of like the Bungie era, and it also looks very specific to Halo Reach design. And it looks gorgeous. They've given it the updated Halo Reach assault rifle. We got the standard assault rifle upgraded recently and shrunk down a little bit, but now it seems we've got the Halo Reach one too. And the recon just looks amazing. The visor, all the different paint applications. The blue and the red is a funny contrast, but it's kind of like red versus blue. I like it. It certainly looks better than the Halo 4 and 5 recons, and we have so many iterations of the recon in Mega Constructs and Mega Blocks, both old and new articulation. This one looks like a really beautiful addition to the team. We've got one more today, and this one looks insane. The amount of paint applications on this one blows every other one out of the water. It's the Spartan Gungnir. And we've got a lot of Gungnirs in Mega Constructs before, but they're always very bland washes of like single paint applications. This one looks insane. This one looks straight up the aisle of Halo Reach customization. And it's even got Cat's robotic arm as well. This has to be a Brut Mauler, right? Just a redesign. It looks kind of like a nail gun as well. I've seen some people comment that. But this one looks fantastic. It's just so much better if we go for this sleek Halo 2 slash Halo Reach design. And really, all these toys just get me so excited for the potential of Halo Infinite, but also so worried. I don't know why we haven't got any gameplay yet. It's freaking me out, especially so close to launch. And I believe in 343 Industries so much to pull this off. I know they've learned from their mistakes, but they just have to hit a home run with Halo Infinite. They got one more shot, and they're gonna lose their fan base if they don't hit the nail on the head. So yeah, this gung nail looks fantastic. So many different colors. I can count like seven or eight. Really in general, a pretty solid line. When I saw them at first yesterday, I was obviously immediately disappointed that we didn't get any named figures, but I know they're going to make sure they don't leak that information before Halo Infinite. And also, it makes sense if Mega Constructs has been told to release these figures early to build hype. What annoys me is that there's no press about it. It would have been cool if they'd started to tease these earlier, or if 343 had done a proper tease post about them, but to just find them in Target seems just messy. So this was another Halo Mega Constructs video with Simon from The Domain. This video was brought to you by Halo Collector. Check out their Facebook page for all the latest Halo toy news, and all of these gorgeous images are signing off. I, I, I think if I was to, I didn't even rate most of them after a while, I got too carried away, didn't I? If I was to rate the best ones, Spartan Gungnir for the level of detail and Brute Warrior for the army building. If I was to rate the worst ones, this Elite Ultra smells. I do not like his head. Congratulations, Spartan Gungnir. You are the domain's favorite figure and you're signing off. Shh.